Good morning and welcome. Bon matin et bienvenue to our virtual services with the Unitarian Church of Montreal. À notre service virtuel pour l'Église Unitarienne de Montréal. C'est un plaisir de te voir. It's a pleasure to see you this morning. It's our great privilege this morning to have our guest, C.B. Beale, speak to us about bearing witness, practice for resilience. However, before that begins, we would like to offer our territorial acknowledgement and chalice lighting for this morning. We consciously take this time to acknowledge our presence on the traditional lands of the Ganyakahaka people. We call this land unceded as it was taken without treaty or agreement. Our congregation is committed to the journey towards reconciliation with the indigenous peoples of this land. And we seek to improve the conditions for indigenous communities by working directly with indigenous organizations, fundraising, educating ourselves, and through advocacy with our governments. We celebrate the diversity of indigenous languages and cultures across Turtle Island, and we honor and support the work of indigenous peoples to build and rebuild strong communities for the future. Our opening words for today come from the Baba Yaga book. <laughs> In asking the question, how do I keep the spark going, we find a lesson in resilience. Someone writes, Dear Baba Yaga, I am so antsy always to begin, but I constantly find myself shrouded in a fog and cannot find my way out. One morning I am on fire and emboldened, but the next I am lost and choking in the smoke. How do I find the quiet courage and patience to carry on when I am fumbling? How do I keep from losing the spark? To which Baba Yaga replies, the spark will remain its lonesome self without kindling. And strange thing about kindling is the paltriness of its nature, the smallness and flimsiness of it. Courage and patience are too large and loud for what you are needing. Do not ask of yourself such feats, but feed the fire with little homilies first. With that, I light our chalice. So mote it be.